Richard Eisen said he first noticed damage after a vacation in September. And I went to open the doors and as far as it'll go. The basement of the home he's owned for eight years. I see this crack right over here. Because from here, underneath, and then I started following it. The foundation yeah. cracked that's inside. Yeah, that's how far the fireplace has moved out. And outside, damage to bricks. Those were never there. It's just, there's just cracks everywhere. He claims the damage is coming from nearby blasts. Yeah, it's like an earthquake. It's the house would shake and for a few seconds and uh. every day. 150 every day at almost the same time like clockwork and what's worse uh, they the cracks have gotten wider so the damage is getting worse and no one will step up and take responsibility for the damage they're doing the construction companies on site are responsible for securing blasting permits those come from the state level i wanted to address a few of the issues homeowners are having. I sent a list of questions to the executive director of the Office of Communication for the Kentucky Energy and Environment Cabinet. We've requested a copy of the seismic reports and have asked when the state agency went to the site to ensure the construction companies are operating under state code. They said it should only reach about 1,500 feet, but obviously it's coming a lot further than that. That would be equal to about 900 pounds of explosives per charge. They claim they're Blasting way below that, but I don't know how they can be that far below and still have this big effect. Blasting records, according to Kentucky revised statutes, are kept for five years, and they're available for inspection by the Department of Natural Resources. It's this report, which contains the amount of explosives used and seismograph readings, which could show if the construction company operated within state code. For homeowners like Ison, It'd be about 20000 to fix it. It's for a problem he says wasn't his own. Exactly, and I don't know why I should be the one paying for it.